This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. My friend Liz James wrote this in the Braver Wiser uh, meditation emails a couple weeks ago. She writes, screwdrivers are my nemesis. I don't know why on earth we need a zillion types of screws, but those little exchangeable screwdriver heads are the bane of my existence. They seem to migrate out of the toolbox and into the couch cushions and under the furniture, and I never have the right one when I need it. So I employ a creative strategy, which is to pick one that is kind of close to right and then press really hard. Sometimes this works. Sometimes, though, it goes kajunk, 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 and the bit spins and the screwdriver doesn't move, and if I don't stop immediately, bad things occur. The screw and the bit can get stripped, changing shape into a groove that leaves everything stuck. I think about this sometimes in meetings. I'm good in meetings, usually. Over the years, I've built up an impressive array of tools, I statements, being assertive, and all that stuff. What I could improve on, though, is knowing when to switch tools, noticing the interpersonal kajunk, kajunk, kajunk faster, and not responding by pressing harder, but rather with, this strategy isn't working, I need to try something different. I remind myself to pause and test out bits. The old faithfuls like, maybe I'm not hearing what you're saying. Let me say it back to check. And you have an unmet need here. Can we figure out what that is? Because it never works to respond with the there's an app for that bit when the tell me how you feel about this bit is called for, even when there is an app for that. Spiritually, I'm also learning to hear and respond to the kajunk, kajunk, kajunk. I have a list of simple bits to try, go for a walk, get a good night's sleep, journal, that are deceptively simple but remarkably effective. The older I get, the more I understand that the goal isn't having the most or best screwdriver bits. It's learning to hear the kajunk, 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 to take a deep breath and to switch strategies. Liz runs the website for the Unitarian Universalist Hysterical Society, which I highly recommend uh, if you have not seen that before. But she gets at something really important here, which is that often what we need are not new strategies. What we need are not more tools for doing something. What we often need in churches and in meetings and in work and in families is the ability to recognize when we need to use a different tool. Even if there's an obvious answer, there's an app for that. That's not always the right approach and it's not the one that does what we need to do as a church. So, uh, my question for you today is, is how do you recognize that moment when the metaphorical screw is getting stripped because maybe you're using the wrong tool. How do you hear that? And then what other tools might you change to? See you tomorrow.